hey hey what's really going on bitcoin cryptocurrency we're going to be taking a look at xrp against usdt on the binance chart uh ripple is in, in, in some insane price action at the moment uh, we got some uh this crazy upswing break out of this insane pattern this crazy range we've been uh, kind of trapped in for the uh, past kind of several months here quite some time tons of uh, accumulation at key levels before we finally broken out hundreds of percentages this is in a very quick uh, time amount of time here so going to be going over the uh, kind of key levels i believe we're going to be interacting with in the kind of mid to short term here uh, jumping into it to recap this kind of previous price action before this breakout we had uh, insane kind of uh, gains and accumulation steadily between uh, you know 18 cents and like you know 30 cents coming all the way back to 24 cents trading kind of steadily and accumulating before breaking out aggressively having this uh, ridiculous sell-off uh, before bouncing around between uh, you know 62 cents and kind of 45 cents there uh, we had this insane sort of dip if we were to kind of consider the that swing high from the uh, the kind of initial pump to the kind of like I don't know kind of swing lowish kind of area here where we kind of dipped after uh, this or I think this is around the kind of SEC time had this 72% kind of pullback we then traded sideways um, between you know kind of 30 cents 24 cents traded up and down broke upward again back to kind of where we dipped from uh, but we had this crazy pullback 50% pullback in a day um, so big sell-off at these key levels we're now experiencing yet another uh, you know very natural this is a very natural accumulation I very believe that was healthy I was stating all of in the longer we held support above this uh, kind of ascending trend line here that we've respected since uh, kind of back in the end of March in 2020 uh, the longer we held above it the more short-term bullish um, I was and so here we are having these uh, insane you know 46 percent candles in a day uh, right now I appear to be seeing some exhaustion at this uh, um, kind of swing high here this sort of local top perhaps uh, there was a pullback after the kind of breakout at the beginning of April there we had uh, kind of 22% to 27% kind of pullbacks within that kind of time that was quickly bought up. This uh, seems to be another pullback that uh, will likely be uh, bought up, but we are uh, much more overbought than that previous pump. And so this pullback could be uh, far more aggressive or more prolonged depending on the uh, kind of factors at play and the uh, kind of FOMO that might be present. If we slap on uh, engineering robo along with the fettuccine lines, we have um, kind of a new perspective come into play here. We have the super buy all the way back in uh, November of 2020, suggesting uh, big gains ahead. We have the moon for the breakout, sell for hell consolidation. We have the buy for moon in the uh, end of January there in 2021. The sell for during the uh, consolidation under the ascending trend line. But the uh, buy for uh, became present along, uh, but during the sell for, uh, the moon was present kind of still uh, the whole time, suggesting that a uh, break upward would be present. So the buy for returned. Um, we're now breaking upward through these uh, kind of f key Fibonacci lines. And I believe uh, we could find support along this kind of $1.58 and between, uh, you know, $1.97, almost $2 there. We could, um, you know, trade in that tight range for a short period of time before continuing upward aggressively as, um, you know, things are starting to double and triple overnight in the crypto sphere at the moment, uh, for whatever reason, as the alt season is uh, fully kicking into gear. Uh, we could very well trade in this tight range before blasting off again, um, or uh, we could have a, um, you know, more uh, natural kind of pullback, perhaps print some uh, lower highs consolidate sideways like that and have a kind of more you know natural kind of recovery from uh, that or you know an aggressive dip that's instantly kind of bought up and we have just like you know some crazy wicks and you know things are just as volatile as crypto likes to be there's lots going on in this space there's lots going on right now um, people want XRP for sure there's plenty of long-term uh, holders and people willing to buy at these tops buy at these levels and uh, there's definitely a lot of FOMO present at the moment.
if we uh, consider the price of XRP against the uh, price of Bitcoin, we see uh, the clear kind of example of the same kind of breakout here. We were able to find support along uh, this kind of key range um, between, you know, 890 and kind of 829 Satoshi there. Upon finding support and breaking through these kind of key levels uh, around kind of 1526, and we stopped off at 2263. We now appear to be seeing interacting with some resistance around, you know, 2897 Satoshi. Um, so the, these lines, these uh, support lines, have been there uh, since a uh, prior price action. So this is a uh, kind of this is still becoming uh, significant even in the uh, kind of future of uh, XRP's kind of price action against uh, Bitcoin. Um, so we could definitely uh, expect to see kind of some price action kind of between this range, perhaps under uh, resistance there before finding support. Um, that would be kind of a more kind of natural, kind of healthier manner. Uh, we could probably see an aggressive pullback back down to here and kind of come back up. Um, but I do believe that uh, between 2270 uh, and uh, 2901 Satoshi will be a kind of key range we could stay between for a period of time before continuing the uptrend. Uh, we turn on Engineering Robo. We have a, a new perspective kind of coming to play here. Um, tons of buy signals back in accumulation around this kind of key level, this key range between uh, 881 and you know 824 Satoshi there. That um, was you know very significant. We now have these cloud buy, some you know signifying or suggesting kind of some long term and some long the longevity in the trend. Uh, you know, if you zoom out briefly here to allow the Fibonacci lines to draw, I believe we can see some interaction with um, these kind of key levels in the kind of very kind of near uh, future here. Um, so I do believe there will be significance kind of around the 0 0.5 level there, uh, 24 46 Satoshi um, correlates with the uh, Fettuccine line. Uh, the 0 0.618 line will be, I believe, will have significance as well. If we were to come all the way back down, um, you know, say Bitcoin decides to, um, you know, have a, a moment and does something unexpected, you know, we could have some very uh, unpredictable price action. Um, now, we do have um, kind of a, uh, because it did it once before and we could do it again, a very uh, kind of bearish new perspective that could come into play due to these, uh, you know, this is a very uh, different set of circumstances, but perhaps. Uh, you know, one in a million. We have all these buy signals. We have this cloud buy coming to play. We have this, like, you know, big kind of pump. And then we have this, you know, kind of aggressive sell off, similar to what happened kind of over here. We have this big pump. And then this, you know, kind of aggressive kind of sell off before some accumulation. We're now pumping again. We could see, if we perhaps print some lower highs, we could see another. Kind of sell off there. I got cut off by the entire screen, but you know, potentially, potentially, this is a very set of different set of circumstances. Like I said, this is a more natural uh, accumulation. I believe this is a course of like uh, a couple weeks. This is a course of like a few days, and so this is a, a far more natural accumulation that I believe could last longer and was a more uh, you know more healthier and more bullish way of breaking out. This was a, a, a you know a lower accumulation. And, you know, this is a far different breakout, but, you know, perhaps this could, uh, this could occur. Anything could happen in the crypto sphere here, but, uh, long-term I'm quite bullish on, uh, XRP. Uh, if we consider the uh, price of Bitcoin itself against, uh, US dollar tether on the Binance chart here, we can see a lot, uh, kind of different perspective. We have the buy for continuing. Uh, as uh, this retracement is uh, playing out, we have this bounce off of kind of 64k, 65k almost. Um, it's crazy resistance above this all-time high, unlike other all-time highs that we've just kind of flown through and, you know, we're able to plow through resistance like it's nothing. Um, 60k has proven to be very significant resistance. Uh, we do have this moon still present, a buy two present, and a buy four present. So, you know, a break upward, I do believe, is pending uh, for the, you know, kind of midterm here. But a retracement um, could occur. We could have some definitely some aggressive wicks. I believe people, if they are new traders, if they start getting nervous around the kind of sub 60K range, we could have some aggressive wicks into the high kind of 59s there. Um, but long-term Bitcoin is just uh, far too bullish to not kind of break upward and do believe we're going to interact with kind of 70k 80k there perhaps quite soon 
uh, if we turn on the fear and FOMO zone, you know, we're able to kind of see a new perspective kind of come into play. Uh, we have the FOMO zone all the way up there at 80k. Um, before it was at like 79k, we see the FOMO zone is growing. So like I mean, you know, the longer we trade sideways, uh, you know, the higher uh, price action will get, or the higher the FOMO zone will get as price action remains sideways. And so, but with this, uh, you know, buy four and all these other kind of buy signals present, we do have interaction with the FOMO zone, I believe, uh, in the near kind of future here. But if we consider uh, XRP against uh, US dollar tether here, we have, what do we have here? Interaction with the FOMO zone. So that is a, uh, that is a clear indication of, you know, this being a very pivotal moment for XRP. We could have another 100% or we could have a, you know, 90% correction kind of thing. This is a very pivotal moment. We can get rejected fully from the FOMO zone, come all the way out of it, come back down to like, you know, previous price action before kind of coming back up into it. But the FOMO zone, I believe, will play a key uh, key uh, resistance uh, in the very short term here. But in the FOMO zone, tops are bought. That's why, um, like, you know, we could, that's why we could definitely have, uh, we could have, there's definitely a potential that we could have a, uh, you know, another 100% in, uh, in XRP, you know, like another 69, 100% kind of uh, next couple of days in XRP during in this during the time in this FOMO zone, you know, uh, as we all, as you know, some know, Dogecoin is uh, far up in the FOMO zone and it just keeps getting farther, but you never know what happens in the FOMO zone. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, check out all the social media down below, subscribe here on YouTube and uh, tune in for the next one.